you need to have a strong enough why and this is such an important thing to have in order to be and remain consistent because you can't be or you can't remain consistent or even disciplined if you don't have a strong enough reason to be in that state now those of you that have experienced something like a significant event let's say a breakup is a very good example of this or it can mean something else which is significant to your own life where suddenly something inside of you just switches on and you have this burning desire you've got this endless amount of motivation or, or fuel to just go out and do whatever because you don't care and you realize you, you might be able to sustain this for a limited period of time you know it could be a week it could be two weeks it could be a month but eventually it starts to decline because motivation is a temporary concept but the idea of being disciplined is, is the is the permanent concept now when you experience something significant let's say a breakup for example i'm only saying that because i've also i've experienced that from my personal um, experience so when that happens I, ha I had a feeling where i had to prove that person or myself and those around me that i am capable of pretty much anything I put my mind to it and I did and I do do that and I and I'm and I feel really good because I feel super motivated I feel super ambitious and I had a strong enough reason for that why because simply that reason was to prove the, the other person to prove myself that I can do this and that was strong for me that was strong enough for me to be like you know what let me just go out there and do it and it worked up until a certain point up until i realized that i can't sustain this for a long time until basically what happens is that was just the fuel for that fire and fuel runs out if you don't replace it so whatever you do right you have to have a strong enough reason you have to have a strong why. Why are you doing the thing that you're doing? Just like genuinely, deep down, ask yourself that. Why are you actually doing the thing that you you you're, you wanted to do or you are doing? Like why? And you might give me like a, one answer or you might even give me a pretty generic standard answer. Maybe because, you know, I want to be better in the future. I want to experience and grow. But you have to break it down. Why do you want to be better? Why do you want to grow? And then you have to keep saying why until you find the core reason, the true reason that you might even be feeling like you don't want to admit to yourself because it might be superficial or it might be, you know, it might have a negative connotation. Like, for example, you know, I'm hustling out here because I want to get money, right? Because that in itself, getting money is seen as a little bit of a kind of a negative ambition because it's very materialistic but it might not be the materialism that you're after and i don't recommend you go after materialism but it might be something way more deep down why am i chasing the money not because i can buy more things but is it to do with status is it to do with trying to impress someone trying to impress myself is it why am i trying to impress myself keep breaking it down once you keep breaking it down, you find the core reason. Don't judge yourself and admit that core reason to yourself. You don't have to tell other people, right? You don't have to tell other people. But admit that to yourself so you know exactly why you're doing the things. Because there will be a time where you will wake up one day in the morning or whenever and you'll just ask yourself, you know what, like... I don't feel like doing this. I don't feel like going to the gym today or, or I don't feel like putting in the hours today because you've lost that reason of why you're doing this. And honestly, I'm only speaking because I've got personal experience with this. Like for example, literally a month ago, not too long ago, literally a month ago, 
Now I'm someone that has been consistent with gym, very much so, and I've been on it. But ever since about July this year, I've I've noticed that I've just I've declined. Like like I've not been being going to the gym as consistently. I've not felt like I want to go. I've lost that real reason of why. And then I admitted to myself like, why do I go to the gym? Um, and I didn't I, and I wasn't faking it. I wasn't saying, oh, just because I want to be healthy. Because that is an aspect, but it's not the real aspect. Like, I want to go to the gym because I want to be, I want to build that, my dream physique. But why do I want to build my dream physique? I want to impress the opposite sex. Or I want to have a physique where I'm, I'm super proud of, where, you know, other people look at and admire. Like those are just some of the examples I'm, tr I'm trying to say. So be completely and utterly honest with yourself and have that reason. Whenever you set yourself a new goal, whenever you set yourself any sort of goal, ask yourself, really, why are you doing this? Because if you can define that very early, before you set the goal, you won't stop. Because if it's a strong enough reason, you won't stop. If you don't really have a real reason or, or you're not, your heart's not really in it, then you might as well not start the, the, the goal because you're not going to stay long. You're just wasting your time. And honestly, like I'm, I'm only speaking again from personal experience because I've tried many things and I've given up on a lot of, lot of things. Maybe if you go down back a couple of videos since this was posted, you'll see that I released a video uh, when I hit a thousand subscribers. And it took me a long time, if you go watch that video, it took me years and, you know, not just years, but several YouTube channels later, I quit, I started, I quit, I started. I wasn't clear why I wanted to do it, but then I started to define that real reason of why and I, and I stuck and my goal was to hit 1K and we did it. But that's just one, one aspect, whatever you do, clearly define that why it's the most important thing honestly good luck